So in the previous video, we spoke about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer uh, becoming a sort of counter-attacking team um, and being able to sort of steady the ship slightly and, and getting a little bit of success back in the Premier League, winning, picking up points. Uh, and picking up points in in the Europa League as well. <clears throat> For those that have been watching Arsenal recently, they're, they're an interesting side. Um, sort of a weird, weird transition for them after Arsene Wenger. They had solid, solid decade of, of being a team that control possession, play extremely attractive football and having a clear plan ahead of them of, of what they wanted to achieve. Now, the criticism with Arsene Wenger was obviously not being able to, to win enough trophies later on. Anyway, fast forward that. They then go Unai Emery has then come in and try to make a possession based effective team. Now did he try to do it too quickly? Did he have the players to be able to play that he wanted to play? Um was he able to get the message across to the players of how he how he wanted? I'm not sure about that. And I know I know um Recently, he, he commented on on the language barrier that that he had, and that he wanted to to um, get better at English before he started working back in England. Now, since Unai Emery left, obviously Freddie Lundberg came in, and got a win early on, and then obviously he, after the weekend against Man City, looking a little bit uh, unsure of of the the best step forward for, for Arsenal. Um, as, we're, as we're making the video there's a lot of talk about uh, Mikel Arteta coming in and again I've seen quite a bit of criticism from, from other pundits about whether or not he'll be able to do the job. Obviously he's not managed, um, he's been at Man City Guardiola's number two as a coach and I, I'm guessing he's, he's learned quite a bit there. Now the good thing for Arsenal and I know Arsenal fans don't like the word project, but in terms of Arteta's experience um, and what he can bring to Arsenal, now you can only learn from what Man City have, have been doing and, and how Guardiola works and operates. And Guardiola is a possession-based team. Now, if Arteta's got 10% or 15% of of what Guardiola's got, then I don't think Arsenal are going to go are going to go far wrong. Certainly in these building block steps, uh, where they're going to have to get a clear plan together in order to um, to push on in the in the near future. But I, I don't think it will be necessarily as bad of um, a decision as some people, some pundits have, have made out, and it'll be it'll be an interesting one to see if we can sort of, if they can create a, an almost like a, an Arsenal 2.0 from the early 2000s when they were a very good, attractive, attacking, possession-based team that was consistently in the top four and consistently getting to the late stages in the Champions League. Um, so we'll, we'll see, wait and see on that one.